Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. And this battle is already underway. We didn't get any countdown as such. Uh, we've got a batch of Tilly R15558, the tier 10 French SPG. And we're on the south spawn of Redshire. And the name of the commander is General McMushby. Mush she Mushy. General McMushy. <laughs> Sorry if I've mispronounced that, but... Uh, She's into the firing position and she's orienting her vehicle around the other way so that if she does need to escape quickly she can drive forward uh, to the east rapidly. She's loaded. She's got three rounds in the magazine ready to go. 48 seconds on the reload and 10 seconds in between shots. Now hopefully we're persuading Wargaming that they'll change the uh, batch at 155.58 in the future to make it a 16 second single shotter. Uh, instead of uh, having a huge long 48 seconds reload and 10 shots between shots, it'll just have one shot every 16 seconds, the same as the M44. And that will equalise the amount of damage that these two vehicles do. Right, she's got a target. Oh, T57 heavy, she's dialed in, ready to go. Lining them up, round out. Direct hit! 148 hit points, right on the money. In fact, to actually hit the turret, it was a beautiful shot over the ridgeline because he was in a hold down position. Okay, she's reloaded. There's a ship bomb there and a Jaegeru just to the east of him. Lined up on the Jaegeru. Direct hit, 246 hit points. Great accuracy. Right, there's the T-57. Almost reloaded. Very difficult shot because it's over a ridgeline. But if he comes out, yes, he's come out. Oh, she can get a shot, but he's on the move. Round out. No, she splashes him. 95 hit points on splash. And you can see that because she's lined her vehicle up correctly, she can quickly disappear and relocate to the east because the enemy is making their way through the castle grounds and they're coming out to the threat's going to be from that direction. Okay, she's got a bunch of heavies all bunched up together. She's got 24 seconds from reload. But look at that bunch of heavies all together. Now, if she had rounds to fire right now she could make a mess of them but she switched her aim over to the west side t57 heavy again he's just taken a big hit and the turret has swung round the 155 58 is one of uh, two french artists with a turret round out on the t57 direct hit 304 right on the side of the turret you can see the mark the yellow stain on the side yep you definitely hit the turret there Waiting for him to come out behind that rock. He knows that rock's cover. He fires around behind the rock anyway. I'm not sure if she got a hit there, but she's changing her aim, changing her position, and she's now going to fire towards the north. See if she can get that bunch of heavies. Should be able to get one of them at least. Going for that bunch, the heavy bunch. Oh, yes, yeah, she got a hit. In fact, she hit four of them. All four of them were hit massive amount of damage there huge amount of damage with one shot she damaged the t 123 the t124 the mouse and she brought some stun assistance off the e4 so she hit three tanks with one shot okay she's got the long reload going through right now but she's got 17 seconds to go there's an object 907 in the enemy in our rear uh, but he's being taken on so we're almost ready to shoot lining up a shot on him reloads going through she's marked her target waiting for it lining him up round out direct hit she managed to get uh oh 55 hit points of damage but she did do a lot of stun assist there everybody's piling in to take that 907 out and he's gone so she's picked up the rest in stun assist and now the enemy is not looking so bright. They've The score's three all, but they've effectively uh, reduced their attack force that was coming through the castle. And although they are in charge of the castle, um, we're now moving up on these enemies that uh, are in the north. And we're lining up shots on them. Round out. Beautiful direct hit, but she, she damaged all three of them at once. She got a hit directly on the T-110E4. But she splashed the Conqueror and stunned everyone else. And then she's hit the Super Conqueror. 
218 hit points. She's relocating and reloading. 48.75 seconds to go. This is a very effective play because she's relocating in between while she's got the reloads to go through. Now, if we did change, or if Wargaming changed the, uh, uh, the bat chat 155.58 to a single shot with short reload, it wouldn't be so easy to relocate between shots. But uh, you can see a beautiful craft here that, uh, that General McMushy does know how to relocate quickly. And she's almost loading. There's a ship bomb, the FV4005. It's got a big ass. And she's lining up a shot on him, working out where his ass is going to be. And you're mine. And she gets a hit. 280 hit points. Shell's almost reloaded. Going for the Yeager this time, I think. Round out. Right into the rear of the Yeager. 228 hit points. And she'd splashed the ship bomb for 83. She's going to go for the pair of them this time. Oh, got the ship bomb. 642 hit points. She must have hit the turret. Bang on. Because she did the maximum damage to his turret. Of course, he's got very weak armor around the actual gun. So uh, that's where she got through. So first kill for General McMushy, but the team is now two tanks down. Now she's taking up position on this hill and she's lining her vehicle up so she can escape quickly if she needs to. Right, she's working out where her next target's gonna be. She's 10 seconds away from shooting. I think she's going to go to the north again, the Super Conqueror. She's got lots of her team members indicating hit those targets. They're spamming the map. And she's loaded. Ready to go. Three shots. Super Conqueror. 248 hit points. Beautiful shot. Looks like it hit... Uh, yeah, it, looked, it smacked into the, the front of the vehicle right at the uh, side, on the side. Oh my god! She just killed the E4. It was a blind shot kill. She didn't know it was there. She was aiming for the Super Conqueror, but she took out the E4 in the process. Goes for the mouse. Gets a direct hit there, but only gets a critical hit on him. She's relocating and reloading. She's got 18 rounds of standard HE left and three rounds of premium. Now, she hasn't moved very far, but she's trying to work out where she needs to be. Still 26 seconds away from full reload. Okay, she's moving again. Now, a little history about the Batchap 155-58. They did actually build uh, prototypes for these RTs, but um, they never actually were put into production. It's going to be built on the, the turret of a T-47 tank, or they rather the, the chassis of a T-47. Uh, of course, Batch Attilion originally were going to put it on the chassis of a, T, um, a Batch at 25. Okay, going for that T-110E3, fires a round in. Oh, splashes into death for 161. That's her third kill. She's loaded, ready to go again. There's an IS-7 up there, but there's a T-92 that can be seen. She's firing a quick round in. And a direct hit. Kills him off. 31 hit points. That's her fourth kill of the game. Right, there's only one enemy remaining. It's the IS-7. Unfortunately, he's just too close to that Object 430 at the moment. She fires around when she can. And she gets a hit for 101 hit points. She's in the reload now. But I think their team did it. Yes, the uh, T110E4 killed the IS-7. They've won the game. And she came out as joint top scorer. So let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tanker for General McMushy in the uh, Bachatillion 155-58. She also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got 19. And a fighter badge for getting at least four kills. She got four exactly. But lastly, she also picked up a gauze medal. She managed to do more damage than 10 times the hit points of her own vehicle. And she did so very effectively as well. Sometimes hitting more than one tank in fact three tanks simultaneously so let's have a look at team scores see where she comes and she didn't come top of the table that went to the fb217 uh the badger he managed to get 5746 hit points of damage but he didn't get any kills at all so he did get the confederate 
Um, she managed to get 4,202 hit points of damage and uh, came top of the table, joint top of the table, with uh, the Object 430U. Both of them managed to get four kills. But when it came to base XP, she managed to get third position with 984, just behind the two 430Us. So let's have a look at detail. Well, she fired 18 rounds during that uh, mission. She got uh, 15 direct hits, 15 penetrations. Shows her accuracy. She's very good at shooting at very, very difficult to hit targets. Uh, splash damage of te on 10. And she did damage overall 4,202 hit points, all at more than 300 meters. She hit 10 of the enemy, two-thirds of the enemy team, and killed four of them. She also did stun assistance damage of 2,176 hit points off 21 stuns. On a premium count, she earned 70,505 credits. And remember, this is a tier 10 RT. She's scoring a positive balance, even though she's playing a tier 10 vehicle. Whereas if you were in a tier 10 tank, you'd be lucky to score a profit at all. Uh, she received 1,476 XP and there was no multipliers, so I'm afraid that's all she took away. But a fantastic demonstration of how the uh, Bat Chat 155-58 can be played exceptionally well. And I do like the way she relocated quickly and effectively to the right direction and placed her vehicle in the right orientation to escape very, very rapidly as soon as she fired her magazine. Uh, so she deserved that ace tanker and of course she actually says it was an easy M thanks to an OK team and it was an OK team but I think it was actually made all the better because they were getting the help they needed from the RT who was firing the rounds in the right places at the right time. So congratulations General McMushy. If you enjoyed this replay please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.